Jay wrote in and he says, I played through Hollow Knight recently and found myself struggling against one of its more challenging bosses. After four hours of trying, I finally succeeded. But this got me thinking. I spent my entire life playing video games and they can still be seriously challenging. But if I took someone who had little to no experience playing video games, locked them in a room with a Sekiro save game at the final boss and did not let them out until they beat the boss, how long would it take? Is it possible they would never succeed? (laughs) I mean, yeah. I've been I've been stuck on a Boston Sekiro for about a year now, so exactly. And, I games, and I'd imagine, so. yes, you're an expert. Can you imagine little to no experience playing games? Like, okay, let's just say, uh, Kyle, your dad, did he play some baseball games or something? No. Okay. Um, Jeff, has your mom ever played a game? Uh, not since the Super Nintendo days. Oh, that's fine. If you lock her in a room with the final boss. With Sekiro. And, you know, you're feeding her and all that stuff. Um, <laughs> but how long would it take? Would she ever get out? I don't think she I would. I don't know. I mean, the the big factor of that is how quickly would someone give up, essentially? Suicide? Yes. No, it's like, I'm no. just going to live in this room now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of, of, of literally, of getting to that point where they say, no, I can't do this. And, and even if you had mm-hmm. someone who was... 100% committed to figuring it out. I think the just the dual analog sticks are a way bigger barrier than any of us give it credit for. Yeah, but if, if you were locked yeah. in prison and there was only one way out, I don't think anybody would give up. She would give up and then like three hours would go by and she'd be so bored that she'd have to keep trying it. Is she not allowed to leave so she does it? That's right. She's locked that, in this room. That's okay. what this sick so this letter is, is this is suggesting. The movie, this, is, this is the movie Old Boy, but with Sekiro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's called uh, Old Mom. Yeah, yeah so that, you have a brick I, wall to punch, you have to play Sekiro. What's yeah, I difference? feel like, yeah, like my experience, like you said, is with teaching anyone that's never played games, is the sticks, like learning how to control dual land. Like, hey, this is this moves the camera. Like, that's... It's impossible. You know, that's... It's so hard to grasp for someone that's just so and, blind. And especially, especially a game like Sekiro... Yeah, I mean, I think at some point it you you can say like, well, you or you can think, yeah, you know, they're gonna get a hang of it. But at some point, it's like saying, okay, I'm gonna put you in a room and the walls are 12 feet high and you can jump out of it. You know, like no. at some point, you're just gonna stop and say, I'm I'm never getting this. Like this is no, impossible. it's not. One is physically possible, and one no human being on Earth has ever done. I mean, chiseling a hole through the wall to escape is physically possible. <laughs> They might they might find that easier than beating Sekiro. <laughs> I, I, I think okay, let's take Jeffum's mom. Let's take her. Where does she live? No, let's take her as an example <laughs> here. Uh at, with the final boss in Sekiro, yeah. I think it's like seven months and she would beat it. This man, I don't know if if you had locked me in a room at the final boss of Sekiro without having played the rest of the game. Yeah. I think it would have taken me months. Are you serious? Yeah, dude, that end boss is brutal. Like, it took me, like, took me forever, and it took me playing the whole game leading up to that and learning every small, you know, strategy on the way there to even be able to complete it at the end. You yeah, know? so what's your number? It wouldn't t- well, it wouldn't be seven, but it would probably be, like, two or three, you know? Two months? No, 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 okay, probably. what's your number for, for this hypothetical, though? Oh, I think yeah, like around that seven, eight. I mean, I think longer, honestly. Like, especially if we're using Sekiro as an example. <laughs> so, I mean, Jeff's mom. This would be over a year and a half. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And she'd be losing her mind, begging for Jeff yeah. to help yeah, save I mean, her. You're also talking about someone in their, you know, late fifties. Your mom's in her late fifties. Yeah. I didn't know she was that young. That's shocking to me. You're I mean, an old my lad. My mom's in my in her fifties soon. So. Late late fifties. Maybe early sixties. Okay. E- either either way, though, you're almost in your fifties. I don't understand. There, this time there right. are <laughs> there are physical limitations there that I don't think you're recognizing. So what's your number? How long has it taken her? I'm saying never. She would <laughs> die. I she feel like would die in that room. <laughs> If you enjoyed this clip from the MinMax Show podcast, we think you'll like the full show too. You can find it by subscribing to MinMax's YouTube channel or on your favorite podcast app. Any help spreading the word to keep our whole indie operation here running is appreciated. We're here for and because of the wonderful MinMax community, so you're welcome to join. 